talking through the camera to many countries at the same time yeah i think so that is what is a good idea is that uh, that is what a good thing that has happened it has really opened up uh, uh, options for us globally now so you are uh, what you bolte hain baag acche hain to jo hota hai wo acche ke liye hi hota hai i know so admit let me oh somebody is doing the job okay so this is your son, uh, grandson granddaughter बलजीत <laughs> Yes, yeah, you Maji. started or you are still waiting to start? No, I am just going to start. I am waiting for people to join in now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we have around twelve participants, so I am just waiting for some more people to come. In the meantime, I am going to start by introduction with everyone. Few of them, I know them uh, through my own contacts. Many, some of them are my trainers, co-trainers also. from india but uh, there are new people i would really want to meet with them so a little uh, introduction of course your name and where are you from which country you are from and uh, so what brings you to us what is it that you're looking for whatever is you what are, what do you think this program has in store for you if you people can one by one start telling me with your videos on because i would love to have a face of to the voice that would be interesting so maybe we can start with ilham yes hello hi, hi everyone can i have yeah can i look at you <laughs> see how you look like oh my god no no my my, my hair is in the mess so <laughs> i was worse than, <laughs> so, than mine so i was worse than mine okay so uh i'm 21 uh, 29 from abu dhabi Uh, and it's uh, this center is in something new for me so i want to know more about the center as one of my cousins she's working there uh, her name is leila i think yeah if you know her <laughs> saying hi to her she's here <laughs> and yeah uh, it's good to make myself uh, more in peace i want to feel this peace and mental health i want to improve that Thing. so have you ever, any idea have you ever attended any of the uh, say uh, uh, pro in the sense uh, programs on energy level or things like that have you any idea what we do and uh, things not in english sometimes and only in arabic sessions uh, with different people from kuwait yeah mostly from kuwait yeah okay so you are from kuwait No, no, I'm from Abu Dhabi, Emirates. Oh, you, you, you're from Abu Dhabi. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when I'll talk to you people today, then you'll have an idea what work we do, how we work, and um, how we help each other to move mm -hmm. forward in life. So okay. you're welcome so much uh, over here on this forum, and I have okay. I can see next on my this thing is uh, Priya Dhawan. Can I see you, Priya? Hi Priya, I just would want you to unmute yourself so that I can hear you. Hi, hi. How are you? Good, good, Priya. How come I have heard this name before and I have no idea how, but this name seems familiar to me. Where are you from? From Muscat. Must be through Bharti. Oh, okay. All right, maybe. I don't yeah. know from where, but yeah, definitely I have heard this name before. 
Okay. So how have you been Priya and uh, what brings you to us? Uh, actually, I, you know, Bharti was in Muscat, so we were doing a lot of meditation sessions with her. And I've mm-hmm. done Tita healing recently. And, okay. uh, and I've always heard Sister Shivani of Brahma Kumaris. And now more and more, I'm believing that, you know, everything is vibrational and energy based. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I really want, through my thoughts, to be able to ascribe new meanings to my external reality so that I remain stable and centered irrespective of what my circumstances are. So what do you do over there in Muscat? Uh, Right now, I'm not doing anything. I was working, but I am now a homemaker. I work in the house. So good. But next time, please don't say when you're a homemaker, I'm not doing anything because you're the only one who's doing something. You know, no, I, I said I'm not doing anything outside. Yeah, that is a better word because yes, yes, yes. As a not homemaker, doing anything. I don't know why we say that we are not doing anything. No, 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 we are doing a lot. Commercially. <laughs> yes, but, but, but a lot of work. But a lot of work, much more than what we do. So definitely, hats off no. to you people who look after the house so well. Um, Thank you. Uh, Welcome Priya. I'm definitely going to talk to you because you're talking about energies. I'm going to tell you how and what type of energies we work with and why ultimately you will realize that everything comes under the same umbrella. So I'm going to talk about that umbrella today. Okay. And then I can see Dr. Jyoti Anand. Dr. Jyoti Anand, can I see you? I mean, wait. Are you there? No, she is. Now she's gone. Now I see her. Now I see her. Not. Hana, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Very, very nice. Good to see you here. Like you, Hana, all of you over here. Very good to see you people here. Hana, are you in my uh, inner child work also? Yes, yes. And you left it in between? After stage two or you are still carrying on? No, I'm still carrying you on. Oh, you are carrying on. I'm a little bit late, you know, in in applying, you know, the uh, exercises. That's all right. That's all right. As long as you are working on your child, that's important. Yeah. So, uh, Anybody from Illumination? Are there more people coming? Do we wait? What do we do? Hello, Illumination? Somebody there? Priya, are you there? Hello? Hello, Priya? So I have no answer. In the meantime, I have... My two very dear friends over here, Baljit Barar and Renu Thakur, they both are from Chandigarh, from the north part of India. And I also belong uh, to North India. And uh, they are my co-trainers in everything. Like uh, they teach TASO, they are TASO trainers, which is a little uh, higher uh, way of doing regression therapy, which uh, Hana, did you attend uh, TASO this time with you, Raj? Yes, yes, I did uh, the, the first did. one. Yeah. Oh, the first. Yeah, they have only done one module online. Yeah. So you attended that one. All right, great. So Renu and uh, Baljeet are my co-trainers from there. Anybody else is coming because I really wanted to start. All right. So what I'll do is since most of them are here who know about what we do and how we work, I would want Priya and Ilham because Ilham to ask me questions. Yeah, Renu. Mute, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Renu. Yeah. So I said, Miko, we push them and you join Karan. I would like to share why I joined this. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Tell me. What brings you here? The A, you're my first trainer. You're my guru. Second is that line which you used was awaken your soul through the mind. 
ਅੱਛਾ ਮੰਮੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਲਾਈਕ ਉਹਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਆਦਿਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਨਾਟ ਮਿਸ ਇਟ ਫॉर ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਫਰਮ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਵੇਕਨ ਮਾਈ ਸੋਲ ਥਰੂ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਐਕਸੈਲੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਰੇਨੂ ਫॉर ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਸਮਹਾਉ ਔਰ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਯੂ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਐਨਕਰੇਜ ਮੀ ਔਨ ਮਾਈ ਪਾਥ ਸੋ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ there's just one question i wanted to just put forth that is this world a simulation is it is an, this a is this world a simulation this world a simulation, simulation. Yeah. yes so first before i answer your question i would first want you to tell me what do you understand by the word simulation a uh, simulation what i understand is that you know it is like a video game so you wear yeah. something you know you get into an illusionary format so when yeah. pilots are trained they are put into a situation where they are trained to fly through the storm and to land mm-hmm. a plane so for mm-hmm. all practical purposes it is absolutely real and mm-hmm. uh, they they feel it but yeah. but at the back of their mind they know it's a simulation it's not real so Correct. it's it, it's an illusion therefore it removes the sting out of suffering so yes. you may suffer but it removes the sting out of it because you know it's a, it's a simulation it's a, so there is absolutely my answer to what you are saying is yes and no both when you say that uh, this is uh, we are suffering without a sting when you talk about it yes that is true that is exactly how we work and this is what we train everyone uh, with us whoever are whoever is our student uh is what well, life was uh, illusion is a question so i'll explain you this way although we are going to talk much in detail in uh, level 3 when we will do and we which will be on the soul work but at the moment what i can tell you is priya when you are in your dreams as a child when you were growing up and when you would see the dreams you would understand and you would feel as if this is really happening to me and you would suffer also right you will feel uh, you will have the pain you will have uh, you will be scared you will feel frightful you will feel emotionally disturbed whatever depending the dream is you will feel that now slowly as you grow older and you become more aware of your environment and of the reality that how dreams are just our projections of our mind once you understand that even when you are sleeping and you are in your dreams you see a dream which is maybe very frightful somewhere you would know the voice will come oh it's only a dream it will not it's not real if you are aware you then get aware even in your dreams that i this is a dream and it is going to be finished in that case you will have the vision whatever you see you see there but it will not give you the pain but as a child when you're not aware of it these dreams give you equal pain similarly in life when we start understanding our mind our body and our soul as you are becoming more and more aware you also become aware that this is an illusion and this will be over okay so uh, recently we have uh, been on the facebook and everywhere and i have seen people who are into these uh, understanding how mind is working how ascension is working how things are working those are the people even with such a big uh, trauma of corona which we have not seen in the century we have not only heard about it we have not even seen the pictures of those things in spite of that people from who are aware of this they are also aware that this will also pass there is a reason why it is here it has come it will finish the reason it will finish its job once it goes it's okay so they are not suffering they do not have the pain but people who are not aware what it is and how it will come and it will go they are the one who are panicking and uh, i do not know if you know about uh, in india lot of people who had come from villages to the cities 
did not understand it. And they started rushing back to, uh, they started rushing back to their villages and on the way they lost their life. So they were supposed to lose their life in any case, whether they had stayed here or they had gone. But had they known it, they would have left the world very calmly in a very calm way or in a very painlessly. But now they went in the sun, they were walking 400 kilometers, 1400 kilometers, 2000 kilometers, which is not a joke, but they suffered. They took the pain because they could not understand. So definitely wherever there is an awareness, pain will go away. The event will still be there. Whatever has to happen in your life, whatever has to happen in your environment will happen, but it will be painless if you are aware. So if you are aware that these are illusions, they will come and they will go. But when you are in the dream, for you, it's everything is very real. Similarly, while we understand that these can be illusionary, while we are in it, it is very real. So even if a pilot is driving, uh, learning to uh, fly in the adverse conditions, for that particular moment, if they are in, present in that particular moment, they know they are at risk. In spite of the fact they know this is not natural. Still, why, if one wrong move, they can really lose their life, even though they know it is an illusion, right? So similarly, this is exactly how we are in this, uh, on this earth, and this is what we all pass through all the time. But more detail on it when we are in the level three of our curriculum that I have announced. Awakening soul through the mind. Yeah. Is he kidney level three? Uh, so what we have done is what was happening, uh, Renu? Anji. When we teach people how to become a therapist, yeah. the complete course is for 31 days. Okay. okay. And then there are five levels. And then there are practicals and there are theories. Now, for the last many years, people had been saying that why, when you teach all this, there is a bliss in people's life. There is a shift in people's life. So why don't you teach it in such a way that the shift is there? I don't want to become a therapist. I don't want to teach. So do make it. And I don't have 31 days and I don't have so much of money. But I still, so I also, well, in this lock, uh, lockdown period, I also felt and realized and thought that every person on this earth has a right to be in bliss. Mm -hmm. Whether they have enough time or not, whether they have enough money or not. So what we did was we accumulated the important part of the body, of the mind and the soul. And we created these three levels, which was two days for each so that people have time to attend and also uh, digest what they are learning. So keeping that in mind, we have got three levels. Our first level is all about mind. It is for two days, which we call mind your mind. And the second one is where we are going to talk about, uh, also when we are talking about mind in level one, we will talk about the relationship between mind and body. Then the second one, we are going to focus on the relationships because I personally feel this is an issue which is maximum creating problem in people's life. Maximum is, I mean, at least I get all the clients who are very, very unwell body wise because there is a stress in their life in their relationships. The second is focused on relationships. Yeah. And I was one of them. I came out of it. Many of my friends were one of them and they have also come out of it. So if, if we can do that and if we can make relationships easier for people to learn, to live and understand what relationship is, what type of people are there, how they behave, what is their characteristic, how two different people can be very, very different with different views and still be correct. 
all these things so in level 2 we are going to focus on relationships and on uh, in level 3 is all about the soul work so soul with your mind soul relationship with your body soul's relationship with your relationships and soul relationship after death what happens after death how to die correctly how to die peacefully all these things we will cover up in level 3 this is how we have made three levels awesome yeah thank you renu any other question anybody else i'm just waiting from pearls to fall now yeah waiting for pearls to fall moti aap se Okay. Well, and uh, Reno, there is a program I also do once in a month. It is called Words of Wisdom. Wow. वो वो मुझे लिंक भेज दिया करो. नहीं वो हीलिंग हैंड्स में हो आप उसमें आता है. So next time please. बहुत सारी ग्रुप्स छोड़ दिया हीलिंग हैंड में नहीं मुझे डाल देना. Okay, so I'll check it again. I will check it and add you, and I'll send you. Once a month. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So in that, the best part is all through the month, people keep sending me the questions, and I answer once in a month. Okay, thank you so much. That would be good. Yeah. Anybody else? I can see A E, and I do not know the full name, but uh, I would love to see your face if you can. Initials are there, huh? Yeah, initials are there. Also, uh, for people who are already students of our uh, curriculum, like Bhavna and Hana. Uh, of course because you have done and you understand the power of subconscious mind it has definitely brought some shift in your life that's the reason why you people are there with me in every uh, program of mine so you know it's a very good program for all of us who have already got our shift in life to gift these programs to people who are very close to us Yeah. there's only two days programs a very good gift item to give to people whom you love and whom you also want them to have the shift in their life but naturally they don't have much time i've gifted so, it to you yeah. i've gifted it to my daughter already she's your first student from dubai yeah and your daughter i thought you gifted it to your son no, no, to your daughter son the timing is not coinciding with la and dubai time you know it's too yeah. late for okay yeah 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 all right good so it will be a good idea for yeah many of them have uh, many of my students have gifted it to their parents or their friends or their families so that everybody gets a little shift so we have ilham ilham you have any question ae if you have any question because you people are just joined it ask me date me kitne time ko so this is a second session for some a program you are doing no 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 this will the this today's conversation to our program is only to tell you people what i plan to do i plan okay. to that is what i was explaining which yeah. will start on i think 26th of uh, this month okay so okay. this is an introduction telling giving you answers of your questions so that you people know what is it that we have to introduce to you okay great what can you expect from the program so any questions regarding the program i hope you were there listening to me right from the beginning yeah so if you have then you understand what we are doing but you please feel free to ask more questions see what happens is uh i have been working myself on many uh many many i've done a lot of energy work i have like probably the first time i understood what mind was and there was a shift in my life there was a bliss in my life then there was only one thing on my mind that i really wanted to make it better and better and better and better and in the bargain i started doing this typical what you call it uh, spiritual shopping so in my spiritual shopping first angel therapy crystal therapy theta healing reiki i did all grand master i teach there is another program which i teach it is called radical healing consciousness so there are name this and i have done every program every energy work i did until uh, i realized that the base of every single energy work 
whatever you do is your subconscious mind all the healings happen on two levels one is the level of the shift and second is the level of the wisdom transformation and wisdom when you come to us for therapies and we work on you definitely definitely it brings the transformation in you but wisdom not necessary but when you do your therapies or even if you don't do the therapies and you do these type of programs you understand what mind is that's where the wisdom starts coming and wisdom is the only thing that can help you to work on your emotions nothing else rest all our efforts teach us to control our emotions but wisdom is the only one which teaches us uh how to work on our emotions how to heal our emotions without rejecting the emotions that we have because rejection is no solution rejection is itself another problem another issue but when you do the same you understand things around you with wisdom it becomes easier for you to transform yourself yeah yeah uh there is somebody called a e i mean if you have any questions i haven't seen your face i don't know you have yet not spoken if you can unmute and introduce yourself that would be lovely yeah hi this is anula i joined in a bit late so i'm just trying to figure out what you say you said what is your name anila here anila yeah that's right so anila in the beginning we did not talk about the program that i am presenting on 26th we just were generally uh, talking and uh, somebody wanted to find out if life is illusion or not and things like that so these were questions probably we are going to in any case talk about it in level 3 that we will be doing so but i have at the moment introduced uh, what am i planning to do and how i have put everything in three levels in if there is any question about it did you hear it were you here no i joined in late actually so oh you joined in still late so i was just telling them that i have we have had this program in three levels in level 1 we are going to talk about mind and body absolutely how my mind determines what my body does or how my mind determines decides what my body should suffer or experience mm -hmm. and uh, so this is in for two days the first two days uh, will be for this then the next weekend we will be doing the level 2 where we will be talking about relationships because that is some place where a lot of people need help so in relationships uh, about relationships how relationships are understood through the mind and through the soul both so most of the time when you work on relationships people talk what we should we should not do constantly we are getting the knowledge gyan from everyone what one should do and one what one should not do here this program on relationships that we are going to do we are not going to say what to do and what not to do we are definitely going to talk about whatever is happening in your life what it is why it is from where it is coming and now where you can take it you have options you have methods you have ways of taking it where you want to take it through the mind's perspective and through the soul's perspective because we all understand that the relationship between two people is not the need of the soul it is the need of the society and society runs according to what our mind teaches us so that's what i am going to talk uh, we are going to teach in level 2 and in level 3 we are going to talk about everything about soul how with the transformations our dnas are changing how when the dna shifts how the rewiring happens how you can experience it in your body why it is happening why it is happening now why are not before why there are so many people these days they are uh, constantly into uh bring wanting to bring the shift in their lives and uh, 
wanting to know what I have come to do here, what is my life plan and uh, life purpose, things like that. Why now suddenly there is a need? And the best part is need is coming in the younger generation more. Because I remember in our time when we were there, nobody had thought that a person who is 19 and 20 would be sitting in a class like this. But I have so many students. In fact, I have so many students who are not even 18 today. And they come and do this course and I, I am not legally allowed to give them the certificate. So I say, okay, you get the knowledge, you get the wisdom, but then certificate you will get when you are class 18. So there are the younger generation, the new consciousness is getting into it day by day a lot. So there has to be a reason behind it and that all things, reasons we teach in level three. So this is how we have got three parts. Yeah. What if you're going through so many changes suddenly and you were not expecting it to happen? So what could be the purpose behind that kind of, you know? So if a lot of shifts you are going through yeah. and they are unplanned, so unplanned. point is this, maybe they are unplanned for you, okay. but not for the universe. They have their plans. Every single thing, you sitting in this class is planned, whether you come and do the course or not. That would also be planned. You may not know it because everything is pre-planned. Unfortunately, we lose our blueprint. And when the blueprint is not there, we wonder why this is happening in my life. Oh, what a coincidence. No. When we will talk to you in level three, when I will talk to you about the story of karma, you will be surprised to know and notice that even if you're walking on the road and you just hit somebody by mistake, there is a reason behind it. There is an energy exchange happening, which is overdue now. So we sometimes get very upset with people. I used to do that once upon a time when I was not aware. Why can't you walk properly? Are you blind? Things like this we would talk. But ultimately now I understand, no, nobody is blind. Everybody exactly know where they are walking and how they are walking and why they are walking. And still, if they touch you or you're hit by them, then there is something else behind it. Something else is happening. So maybe you are not aware what is happening in your life, but there's a universe is doing what it is supposed to do. So Anila, if you really see, nobody knows what is happening or nobody in say November, December, December I would say, nobody knew what was Corona, what is going to happen in 2020. We all had so many different plans. And then comes 2020, exact the night, midnight of 2020, the first case of Corona comes. And now the whole world is under it, its grip. Do you think this is not a conspiracy of the universe? Yeah, it is. So what we could not learn otherwise, which it was giving us instructions or it was giving us indications or things, then it, now the universe is teaching us in its own way. So nothing is unplanned. Everything is planned. We keep getting informations. We keep getting uh, indications, signs, symbols. Only we do not know how to focus on them or how to notice them. That's the only difference. So this healing process, it basically has to be done for a couple of days. So how is it? Is it a practice? So no, what we are going to do is, I am first of all going to make you aware of what is happening and why. As I was saying, when you become aware, you have the wisdom. Wisdom itself is very, very therapeutic. 50% healing starts happening only by getting the wisdom because 99% issues are there because of our perceptions where we were not aware. So the moment you become aware, your perception changes and healing starts then and there from the day one, probably in the first one hour. And then it continues. If this healing comes from the premises of wisdom, this will continue rest of your life. You don't have to come to me or you don't have to go to anybody for healing. But when we do the otherwise healing without the wisdom, then the healing happens till the healing is being done. But the moment 
you remove your healing hand from you and if the wisdom is not there your perception has not changed you go back to the same pattern so definitely the healing will happen but the this healing what we are talking is lifelong healing it is not for few days few months for one issue or two issues no it's for your every issue which is generated because of the mind and as you know 99.9% all the issues are generated from the mind All right. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So, anybody else has any question before illumination closes the meeting? No. Everything good. Everything is all good. Good. So, okay. We will then call it for. Uh, Yeah, it's already ten five. That's the time I was given. Any questions? Please feel free. There is a, a group that Illumination has created on the WhatsApp. Please put your questions there, and you will get all the answers before we start the classes. Yeah. So on this note, I will say good night to everyone. Yeah. Um, please, make a group me. Dal dena. I'll put it in the group. Yeah, yeah. In fact, Baljit, if you are there, I have a Zoom. This thing, I was thinking of creating a Zoom meeting and just to meet and say hi to each other. ये भी अच्छी बात है. Let's do it tomorrow sometime when we have a little time. नहीं नहीं, I was listening to you. One yeah. side, Ravani is. I'm listening to Ravani. He's coming for the weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. One side I'm listening to you, and one side I'm listening to her. Both are very good. <laughs> very good, yeah. Keep it up. Two different type of souls. Yeah, good. <laughs> so, uh, Baljit, really, we should just keep meeting and talking to each Hi. other. You know, that is the only way we can socialize now. That's true. On Zoom, socializing, yeah. Let's do that. Socializing here now. You know, I say, for how long can we sit inside here? Yeah, no, no. We have started. We will start going. But abhi, see, uh, I am also an underlying client uh, patient, so I have to be very, very careful with my going out. I can't take the risk because of my this tumor thing. So, okay, but I can't stop meeting people. So I will meet people. That's what life is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Life is like this. So, well, we cannot allow life to put. Roadblocks in our life. If the life will put roadblocks, we will make it a milestone yeah. and still <laughs> move on. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> so I'll just, just let me know. Just you'll put it on the. I'll do that. Just a meeting for no reason. I'll call Anita also on that. Naam ko chai pe mile. Ha, let's do that. Let's have a tea. Class of tea lekar. I'll call. All right. Okay, so we. I will be on WhatsApp with you people now. I have to close this meeting. Time is over. See you all very soon again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.